I've got two minutes on lotion and moisturizers that we may use in the preparation room on the deceased. I've gotten this question before, if someone's dehydrating, why don't we just put lotion on them? Well, lotion in the common place, like at the grocery store or the drugstore where you're buying it, that type of lotion is for skin that is emitting heat. The pores are opening and closing. It can take that moisture in and then go into the tissue and moisturize it. However, when someone is dead, there's no heat being emitted, there's no pores opening and closing, so it's harder. We can't just use regular lotion on that skin. So companies, the um, fluid companies and the mortuary companies have come out with their own types of um, moisturizers. So one such is Kalon. We talk about using Kalon cream to put Kalon on, to put Kalon on. It's kind of like um, Kleenex, where Kleenex is not the name for every type of tissue you blow your nose on, but you say the brand name rather than the, the other. So Kalon is one of those things I feel like you talk about Kalon. So it is a lotion. Um, it's a very, woo! It is a very thin, um, but thick. It's not like um, greasy at all. And so after embalming, you would cover the hands and the face with this to prevent uh, dehydration. There is also like stone oil from Pierce Chemical is a widely used one. I know I've had people talk about um, there's a story, whether it's a real story or not. A uh, funeral director out in Arizona had a gentleman who had died out in the desert and had been there for days and he covered the body in Kalon cream and let it sit for, let him sit for two, three days and good as new. So there's something to be said about Kalon cream. This stuff does wonders along with the other types that are along the different product lines. So moisturizers, two minutes,